All right, in just a few hours, Liberty State Park in Jersey City will play host to the biggest weekend in music for our area this year. That's right, 65 bands, including a last-minute rock star, are going to be added, all set to play for the second annual All Points West Music and Arts Festival. Andrew Ramos has more on who's playing and what to expect. Returning for its second year in a row, the All Points West Music Festival is back and better than ever. I hear the lineup that's loaded with 65 must-see acts like Coldplay and the Ting Tings, ticket holders can't go wrong. Unlike last year's bill, which featured a wide variety of indie rock bands like Radiohead and Kings of Leon, this time around, organizers decided to dabble into the top 40. We really wanted the event to have something for everyone. So you have great hip-hop acts, rock acts, indie acts, alternative acts. With Lady Liberty looking on, the National Vampire Weekend and the Yeah Yeah Yeahs, just to name a few, will kick off the three-day music festival. Originally, New York's own Beastie Boys were slated to headline, but were forced to to cancel after group member Adam MCA Yauk was diagnosed with cancer. In a last minute move, organizers called on the biggest hip hop star alive. Allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Ho. Jay Z. We all got together and tried to decide, you know, who was the best fit. And amazingly, he was available. In a festival that covers pretty much every genre, metalheads will rejoice when Saturday's headliner, Tool, takes them to that deeply unsettling place. This while the Ting Tings will bring some much needed stylish pop to the park. MGMT, Gaslight Anthem and Headliners Coldplay wrap up what's expected to be a diverse and eclectic weekend that will even include some comedy. You could go and experience a full three hour comedy show and actually Never go see any music, you know, it's all up to you. Well, it may not look like much now, but in a few hours, a party will be on here at Liberty State Park in Jersey City. Now, organizers are urging all ticket holders to use public transportation when headed to the festival this weekend. In the meantime, yo, Jake, play me out, man. La, da, da, da. Hey, in Jersey City, I'm Andrew Ramos for the Pix Morning News. All right, well, for more information on this weekend's festival, go to our website, wpx.com slash morning news.